this is my latest permanent camp. I call it the dome because it's basically made from rivies in a bender style or wigwam. It's waterproof with this. This is lorry canvas. Same stuff I use in articulated lorries. It's extremely hard wearing, very waterproof and very warm. Inside, you basically have line, laid the floor with ground sheet and carpets and these quilts. We've made the tarp in such a way that the water goes down the outside. There's no effort for water to go in, no overlaps on the outside. Any condensation goes outside. So we stayed really nice, warm and dry in here. Over here we have our gas bottle wood burner, which during the night keeps us very warm. It's excellent to cook on, cook on if it's raining outside or too cold. It's connected to a flue, which travels all the way up and towards the outside. To keep everything inside nice and dry. I've got these barriers here made out of hazel wicker. This here to stop water and moisture from leaking in. And of course, no shelter is complete without one. Just here, I have the chimney for wood burner or the flue. It's secured with a metal ring just around the top and a lot of clay to further fireproof it and seal it. Just up here, I have a Perspex window just to let a bit more, little bit more light in during the day. And basically just, it, it looks nice from inside. And it does get very dark in there because it's all lorry canvassed up. Outside, just got two benches my chair and the fire. At the moment we're trying to make some amity. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know if I've even got the fungus right, but it's an experiment anyway and that's what bushcraft's all about. Obviously completely natural shelter made out of leaves has the advantage of being completely hidden by the woodland. You might think that ours being made out of grey lorry canvas is a bit harder to, uh, to conceal, but we'll show you from around the back from the footpath just how hard it is to spot. Just here on the footpath, you wouldn't believe that we're only about 20 feet away from the uh, shelter. We are legally allowed to be here, but it's nice to know that you are completely hidden from the footpath. And that just shows that nice camp placement just behind some trees and some bushes really goes a long way.